Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Janet Asis and joining me in the studio right now is Chandra Ferris, who is a youth activist who casted her vote yesterday and now shares with us her experience. A very good morning to you, Chandra. Good morning to you as well, Janet. Thank you for joining us. Now, you were the youth ambassador for Misa Namibia. Uh, talk to us about your role there. Well, I was a youth ambassador for Misa Namibia, also a junior, former junior counsellor. Well, what we basically did is we advocated for children's rights in the media. That's what Misa stands for. So we would um, educate them about their rights and their responsibilities concerning the media. Mm -hmm. Why would you say it's important to really partake in this election process? Well, especially when it comes to the, to the youth is that we the youth feel that we are not noticed that we are forgotten and opportunities like this is actually the time for us to take it with both hands and to take part in the elections for us to have a say for us to make a change so yeah mm -hmm. with that being said i feel now is the time for the youth to take this opportunity to cast their votes for them to see the difference mm -hmm. we've, 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 we we hear so um, not necessarily young people but we just hear people in general talking about why should i even vote we're not going to see the change uh, uh, that we want to see. Uh, what, what do you have to say about uh, people that, that, that speak in that way? Well, actually to say I was one of them when I was a bit younger. I would also say with people like, yeah, I don't see the, the reason to vote because, you know, the country is still going to be the same. But to be honest with you, since like this, for those five years that I've been noticing things, there is really a change. Mm -hmm. There is a change coming up and for us as the youth now to take power, to take control is a really, really good thing. It shows me that, you know, my vote can make a difference. So the say of us uh, saying that, why should we vote? It's no more there. Now we see why we need to vote mm -hmm. for us to have jobs, for us to have land, for us to have a better future. So with that, I feel we the youth now really sees the important and the necessary um, why is it necessary for us to vote? Mm -hmm. what, talk to us about your voting experience yesterday. Well, I thought that the queues would be long and I would have to wait again like last year, but happily it wasn't that long. The, the process this year actually went a bit faster, although the sun is very hot in Ketmanso, but we were advised to bring on some chairs, put on a hat and extra water. So I think that also helped a lot of people. Secondly, also, there was a lot of commotion going on. If you checked on social media, like, checked on social media what was going on, um, on the other side of Kitmansop, I think it's in the DRC area, where someone uh, gave lift to an elderly, and this person had a stick of a political party on their car. Mm -hmm. That caused a big commotion in social media because people feel like, yeah, why didn't uh, um, ECN, you know, uh, uh, why didn't they call police on this person and stuff like this? But then it just comes back to us thinking, like, is it really necessary? But then also it's rules. So that caused a lot, a lot of commotion on social media. But furthermore, my experience as a second time voter, it went very well. Queues were fast. People were helped. I don't know now until what time people were still voting, but for me, everything went smoothly. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, the, the voting has, 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 has closed. It's ended now. Um, we are expecting the results. Uh, what's your advice to young people, especially now w that we've seen a wave of, of uh, uh, actually an increase in the number of different uh, independent candidates mm -hmm. and, and political parties really participating in these uh, general uh, uh, election, these uh, local authority elections? What should be the attitude, especially if they realize that, you know, their specific candidate um, has not really uh, taken enough seats? Well, I feel we as young people should not feel discouraged. We should actually just be, this should actually motivate us, you know, to see what went wrong, why, why people didn't vote for the candidate, because there's a lot of factors contributing to that. It might even be lack of um, where people were not informed enough. So that can also be to why their candidate didn't make it, or maybe sometimes, because sometimes people feel this person is just making promises and it's never gonna happen. But, you know, so we as young people, we can go back in our communities, we can sit and think that why we our candidates didn't make it, and then we can work on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't have to end just with candidates. You yourself can be a leader in your community. Take the stand. If you see what's what's lacking in your in your start now already for 
the five years so that when it's time to vote again, people will know like, no, this person has been doing this for so long. Don't wait for election time to stand up and now try to be the person to be seen all over. Mm -hmm. So if your candidate didn't make it, encourage them to start now with the change. Don't let election only be the time that you want to now advocate for people's rights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now you're obviously very passionate about uh, young people and, and really youth development. What, what, what do you really want to see? What do you want to see, uh, especially as a country, in, in terms of development? Okay, let me just broaden it down to Ketmanswap. Mm -hmm. What I want to see in Ketmanswap is for more young people to stand up for themselves, to stand up for their rights and to stand up in what they believe in. I feel we as the youth in Ketman, so we have so much potential to do greater things, to do so much more, if only we can stand together to make things work. There's a soccer field uh, out there in the location, but it's dirty, there's bottles and the young people are complaining, they're waiting for other people. Mm -hmm. So I feel if, you, uh, if, if we as the young people stand up to clean it up and to do things together, we can achieve so much better. Mm -hmm. So I feel if we can start like that already, already having that mindset of let's, let's do this because we want to do it, but not because we're waiting on people to do it for us, mm -hmm. we can achieve so, so much. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I mean, you find uh, a lot of young people, especially in, 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 in Ketmanswap and in the Karas region, uh, you know, sort of uh, complaining about the, the circumstances that they find themselves in, whether it's poverty or social issues, you know, uh, the, 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 the family, you know, the, the family situation that they find themselves in. How can a young person who's, who's going through a, a lot really do uh, something for themselves or, or for, for the community? Yeah, like I, like I was mentioning it again is, we should stop the culture of complaining and complaining and not doing anything for ourselves. If you are unemployed, there's so much you can do. You can, like for example, stand up, correct people's yards to earn something. You don't have to sit down and complain, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Sell ice. Um, Offer to help someone wash their car, stuff like that, can, it can give you an income. I mean, who would want to say no to someone that would want to come wash their car to have uh, food on the table? Also, we as young people, there's so many opportunities out there for us. We have the gender-based uh, violence um, office here in Ketpansop. So if you're going through abuse, why do you sit at home and just complain, I'm being abused, I'm being abused, but you're not making use of the resources? There's the police station, and I think young people have the tendency of just threatening people, I'll go make a case against you, but they don't even make it to the police station. And when the police come there and they find out that some of these things have been going on for years now, mm -hmm. we as young people should not be, uh, we should not be afraid. This, our rights um, as, as Namibian citizens, we should make use of it. We should take that and, you know, make ourselves, give ourselves a better life because complaining is not the solution. Mm -hmm. Complaining will not get you anywhere. You're still going to sit in that position. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's a saying that says, uh, doing the same thing over and over again, it's like madness. Yeah, it becomes part of your daily over routine. Over again and, and expecting the same, uh, different Ex results. Exactly, it becomes right. part of your daily routine. Mm -hmm. So I feel we as young people should stop that culture of just complaining and stand up. There's really, the, the resources are there for us. It's just we need to stand up and make use of it. Mm -hmm. Now, as we, we conclude our discussion, just share with us, why should uh, the youth really be part of the decision-making process for any country? Well, like in Namibia, the youth really makes up a great number of our population. So every Namibian youth should, you know, think of what you want. Like the question you asked earlier, what do you see as a better Namibia? Think of that and make that your goal. If you work towards it, you will see how it will benefit you a lot. Mm -hmm. So we as Namibians, we as the youth, we should actually stand up for what we need and not what we want. Because many a times people would say, no, we want to stay in fancy houses, we want this, but we don't need it. Mm -hmm. All we need is a shelter, all we need is clean clean water and stuff like that. So I feel if we the youth can stand up into what, uh, stand up for what we believe in and what we need, we will achieve so much. Mm -hmm. Chandra, thank you so much for joining us and, and talking to us. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you so much as well, Jeanette. It was really good, you know, just discussing youth issues and stuff like that with you. Thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. That's Chandra Ferris. She is a youth activist as well as a, a former youth 
ambassador for MISA and a former junior counsellor. The titles go on, uh, just sharing with us her experience as she casted her vote yesterday.